You have to use a scraper like this, scrape it from the bottom. There's a lot of uh, plastic all over. Some of the support broke off, and we're gonna look at this. And there we go. Pretty light. Here I have the Hulk sculpture. I'm very curious about it. It's taken me three days to print this out and I printed it in different settings so I'm kind of like when you make a 3d print you have to kind of figure out what settings you're going to use but when you look at the base here this is called the raft process and it's leaving like a bunch of plastic here look at all that plastic and some of the support I wasn't sure this was actually even going to uh, work because some of the support printed out like this, like balls of plastic. And I was afraid that it would not follow through, like this column here. It didn't end up supporting anything, but these columns are made in a way to support, for example, the arm. If you look at this arm, this is just support. You can tell the 3D printer not to print this, but there's no way to really print out the arm without this as a support. So now you have the process of cleaning up. If you look closely here, you have the support going up to the head. And what you do is you kind of snap it off. And I am hoping that when I snap this off, it's not going to really destroy the, there we go, it's kind of coming off. There we go, look at that. <laughs> it's, so, it's so neat like scanning it and then seeing it in plastic. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, there's this here. It's kind of a shame that all of this plastic is just waste, but I have printed stuff before and it did not work out very well. So there's like some other stuff here. There's a little bit here in the middle. I think I'm gonna have to start removing this big chunk here. And, uh, Pretty badass. I mean, it, it is cool to get a version of your your artwork in plastic. It's very, I don't know. I think I'm very excited about the, the possibilities of this. I know that it's very kind of difficult to see. I'm gonna kind of zoom in really quick just so you guys can look at it. Guys, that's the Hulk, the first Hulk 3D printed version. It's about one hand length. It took three days to make this, and this is the lowest resolution, and I did skip on some things like wall thickness. It's very light. And I did break the tire and the leg because of the supports. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more. You could just melt the plastic together and then paint this over with a really nice finish. And I think that might be one of the things I do, but I am very pleased with it. It looks kind of cool. And there are some issues here with the muscles, kind of, it's almost like a mesh where the printed printer did not fill in that. And as you get to the top, the, the back is actually pretty decent. You can kind of tell it's not perfect, but it is pretty neat to have a 3D printed version here. And there are little mistakes that I did. You know, I printed this too thin. The, R, the leg broke off, the tire broke, and that's all just from removing the support. Um, the base, pretty solid. It's just kind of cool. Uh, I don't know, I, I like having this little thing. 
Well guys, that is the Hulk 3D. The original Hulk I have in the kiln right now and I am firing it. It is much bigger, but it's kind of cool. I'll have to, ha it's nice to have a reproduction of things that I've uh, gotten rid of. And I think this is uh, the first copy. It's a pretty good one. The next one's going to be a much better quality version and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.